Well, look, um, on the Inanna thing, there's a lot to talk about this morning. Um, what I, what, what, well, look, I'm not changing my mind. It's all about opinion. Well done if you back Inanna. I, I, I have to, I do back him. I don't think he's good enough. But I find it incredible, absolutely incredible. And, I, and, and, and it's all about opinion, of course. But as I said before, I can respect an opinion and I don't have to value it. And I don't value people who tell me that Anana's not to blame because I've got the experience and knowledge and I can flesh it out why I do blame him. I blame him because he's cost us so many goals this season. It's not last night. It's not last night. I know I know his positional sense was amateur last night, standing on his fucking goal line instead of running out, but maybe he wouldn't save it anyway. But the amount of goals he's cost us this season, I'm sorry, whether you're a big fan of Anana or not, and I do like Anana, he ain't good enough. He's cost us champion. He's, he's cost us European football. It's as simple as that. But ultimately, it goes back to why did we do the deal in the first place? You know, I will support Anana. I hope he has a good game at Anfield. But you know, managers get sacked off 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 making these sort of mistakes. He has made a horrific mistake with it with that goalkeeper. He spent fifty million pounds replacing a better goalkeeper. He's cost us European football. And um, it's all also now going to cost us probably another 50 million in not qualifying for Europe. It's, just, it's an absolute... People talk about Mason Mount. The Anana decision is absolutely incredible. But that's what happens when you don't have a good director of football. I mean, I, I question what John Murta and Richard Arnold were doing there. What do they know about football? How have they even authorised that deal? It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, you get people saying, oh, De Gea cost us loads of goals. Yeah, did he? Did he? Because I seem to remember we had 17 clean sheets in the Premier League last year. I seem to remember we came third and got to two cup finals. Um, I don't see David De Gea making the mistakes that Anana's made this year. I'm not saying David De Gea was perfect, but you know what? I can't. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, it's an improvement because it's not. And as for people who say, well, David De Gea hasn't even got a club, I think we all know that's because of financial reasons. I, I wouldn't be surprised if David De Gea pulled on a Chelsea shirt or a Newcastle shirt for the second half of this season. And if he does, then the pressure's really going to go up on Ten Hag if, if, if David De Gea starts playing well. 